Hi everyone! Oh, are we live? Are we live? Live! <laughs> There's always like a three or four second delay, so I always like to check before I start rattling on. <laughs> So welcome everyone to this week's training. Um, I'm actually going to do a little bit of more of an introduction um, because we do have quite a few new members in the group. So first of all, welcome to our new members. Super excited to have you with us. And hello to the existing members. Always great to see you here again. And remember, interact, put um, things in the comments. This is a really interactive training session because it's super important to ensure that you all have that opportunity to input to this training so we can make it as person-centered as possible because that makes good results if it's really specific to you as an individual and helps you to apply the teachings that I'm, I'm talking about into practice. So put a number one in the comments if you are truly ready to enhance your level of gratitude in your everyday life because I certainly am. Gratitude is such a powerful concept. So we're gonna cover why we need gratitude in our lives. We're gonna um, cover three ways on how to enhance it. We've also got a worksheet. Um, that we will be going through and um, yeah, we can be giving like specific examples. So make sure you put things in the comments so we can also talk about those as well. So for those who don't know me or don't know me well, my name is Leanne and I am the CEO and the founder of Happy Luya Life Coaching. Now, I created and built my business on the foundations of wanting to support people in a way that actually works. My background is in social work, I've been in social care, I've been in senior management, I've done counselling, I've done life coaching, I've done trauma intervention, I have done lots and lots of different experiences and what I've used is my professional experiences and personal experience experiences have merged and the reason why I wanted to merge them is to really create something super special and something that was effective. And the reason why I specifically wanted to create a group for women was because women have so much power within them and so much um, change that can happen when women truly lay up their inner power. But what I find, and I definitely included myself in this, what I found was women are suppressed, we're oppressed, we are... Um, encouraged by society to be small and not to live big and um, we struggle with imposter syndrome the stats around women experiencing imposter syndrome are absolutely crazy they're through the roof um, we can struggle with self-limiting beliefs we can struggle with um, our, our mental health there's so many things that women can really struggle with because of these oppressions that we often struggle with within society. So the Light Up Your Inner Power group is specifically for women. And within this group, we do weekly trainings. I also have two incredible life-changing programs and um, the Solace Project and Light Up Your Inner Power program. And the focus on this group, as well as my programs and my weekly trainings, they all come together to really give women that chance to live the life they were told they never could. And that could be by a partner, that could be by an ex-partner, a teacher, a parent, um, society. So whoever has told you that you cannot live a certain life, we are challenging that as one. So really, really powerful shifts and movements that we have within this group. And we have five pillars that we really work towards. Um, and what we do is we do the surface level training within the weekly workshops and we do the deep, meaningful, long lasting interventions within the paid program. So if you're interested in the programs, please give me a shout and I will connect um, around that and what that could look like for you. So 
So the five pillars we have is challenging our self-limiting beliefs. We then have holistic modeling. So looking at your life as a whole to see where we can up level um, all of the areas within your life and enhance them so you're truly, really getting the best out of your life. We then look at your positive mindset and changing and up leveling that even further. We quite often um, find as women that we have stagnant mindsets, we have mindsets that are quite set and um, quite set. So really changing it so we're uplifting or working on that progressive mindset, that growth mindset is super, super powerful. The fourth pillar that we have is stress management and emotional regulation. Now, the reason why I have this one in is because when we have experienced difficulties, adverse experiences, trauma within our lives, we tend to not be able to regulate ourselves. So when you're feeling really anxious, when you're feeling really heightened, really agitated, that is when your emotional regulation is quite out of balance. And what we find is as women, we have that regulation that quite often is so up and down, it's very, very challenging to regulate it. So that's a fourth pillar of how we manage to regulate ourselves and to sustain that so we feel more in control of our bodies and our mind. The fifth one is goal setting and goal achieving. So really, really pulling things to the front towards the end of the of um, the programs and the trainings to really ensure that we can live the life that we were told we never could and really, truly lighting up our inner power. So that was a whistle stop tour of me and light up your inner power. But let's dive straight in to the workshop. So this workshop is all about enhancing gratitude within your daily lives. And why do we need to focus on gratitude? Because gratitude has such high energy frequency within the universe. It is such a powerful thing to have in your life. And what we find is there's so much psychological research that really helps us to um, to understand the benefits that gratitude has if we continue to practice it daily. So examples of this could be and are positive health benefits. So there's so much research to indicate that someone having a very positive mindset, feeling very grateful around what they have in their lives, generally their health, their physical health, will be a lot better than someone who is the opposite, who's quite stagnant, quite negative, um, and doesn't feel grateful for the things that they have in their lives. We also have higher resilience if we feel more grateful around the things that we have. We feel more appreciative. We feel, feel more connected to ourselves and to other people if we have higher levels of gratitude within our lives. So super, super important emotion to have and it attracts lots of positive things as well. As you know, um, or uh, you may not, but I am a Law of Attraction um, certified practitioner. So using gratitude in the Law of Attraction is really, really powerful as well. We're putting out positive energy into the universe and then we get that back. So if you're interested more around that, make sure you look up my previous trainings in the guide section of the group because I have done a specific um, workshop on uh, the law of attraction and things like that. So make sure you check that one out if you haven't watched that already because it has so much different ideas around that too. And what you find actually is manifestation and gratitude are very, very closely interlinked. So this technically could be a part two. So, feeling very Scottish today, I'm having some iron brew. Um, three ways to enhance our gratitude within our everyday life. And these are my suggestions. So if you have other tips and tricks, put them in the comments to ensure that you are also sharing your wisdom. There's never gonna be right and wrong. Uh, sorry, there's never going to be wrong answers around how you yourself promote gratitude within your life. So make sure you share your ideas as well, because we're all in this together. We're all learning. So
So the first one I wanted to talk about was engaging in rituals and habits. So really getting into the routine of practicing gratitude every single day. So what I want you to first of all think of is three things every single day that you feel grateful for. And it can be really helpful to get into the habit of doing this every day. So for me, I um, have a very set structured routine in the morning and I really practice gratitude. So I sit and think about gratitude and I'll, I'll cover some of the other things that I do. But each morning I journal and I write those three things that, I, well I do five, but as a starting point, three things that you're grateful for. And if you get into the habit of writing down three things you're grateful for every single day, be really really powerful to bring that in and to start the day off on a positive and now it's up to you how you do this it could be through journaling it could just be thinking about it it could be writing on your phone um, and really reflecting on how you can stay committed to those three gratitudes um, per day so it could be having a reminder on your phone, it could be having a sticky note on your fridge, something that just holds you a little bit accountable around engaging in this ritual and habit building to ensure that you're really staying committed to finding that three areas of gratitude within your life. Um, another way that I heard, and this was, um, I, I, it was in a book I'd read, I think it was actually The Secret um, by Rhonda Burney, brilliant book um, so they talk about how you can also just give general thanks and gratitude in your everyday life so what one of the practitioners did was their walk from the bed to the kettle and just every single time they put their foot down on the ground they said thank you so by the time they reached um to to you know, to the kettle to make their morning cup of um, tea or coffee. And um, what they found was they'd already said thank you out loud about 20 to 25 times before they'd even had their first cup of tea. So that can also be really powerful. It's a habit that you can get into. It's a habit that can be sustainable if you're really being committed to it. So really, really interesting to engage in these rituals and habits and really getting a feel for what works for you um, and what you feel you can really stick to. So that's the first one, rituals and habits. So let me type that in the comments so everyone has that. Rituals and habits is number one, okay? The second one is meditation. Now I freaking love meditation as you know it's such a huge part of my programs we quite often do group meditations within the group so really really important stuff to really get into the meditation and um, because it reaps so much rewards which I won't go into today but a huge part of that is focusing your gratitude within your meditation practice. So one thing that I really like to do, and I do this within my morning routine, is I just sit still, I put my feet solidly on the ground, I get myself feeling comfortable, I close my eyes, I take three deep breaths, And I really sink in to myself and reflect on what I'm grateful for today. And just letting that come naturally. Really feeling into what you're grateful for and also focusing on why. I then do a body scan and it's super quick so we can do it just now. 
So just imagining that there is this beautiful ball of light right in front of you and it's shimmering, it's really bright, it's warm, it's welcoming and that light represents gratitude. And I want you to see the ball of light just move towards you and hover just above your head. I then want you to feel the ball of light gently seeping through your head into your brain. filling your brain with so much gratitude, so much thanks for what you have in your life. And then slowly, I want you to just feel that energy flow right through your body so down your neck, through your face, around your lips so you break into a smile, going along your shoulders and you feel relaxed because you feel so grateful, travelling down your hands, through your back and torso, down your buttocks, your thighs, right down your legs to the tip of your toes and just feeling that powerful energy of gratitude going right through your body and just sitting there and really feeling it, really recognising how amazing it feels to feel so grateful and thankful. I just want you to take one more deep breath. And when you're ready, just open your eyes. So that is a really quick way that we can really engage in that gratitude just through that meditation, feeling into it, visualising it, feeling the light cover your body, that beautiful gratitude energy really going right through your body and feeling that energy is so powerful and it can really enhance our feelings of feeling truly grateful in our lives. The third one I wanted to cover was prayers and connections. So once again, this is quite spiritual, this training, but spirituality is a huge part of the Light Up Your Inner Power program and my teachings. So I really like to ensure that I'm not being restrictive and I'm really giving you what truly works. Um, so when we're reflecting on prayers and connections, there's a couple of different ways we can really reflect on how we do it. So the first one is sending blessings and gratitude out to other people. So sitting and thinking of perhaps just one person that you want to send gratitude to, you want to feel um, really grateful for, you want them to feel that gratitude for you. So it's just sitting there and sending that energy out to them, sending that gratitude, that appreciation, that thanks for that one person within your day that truly deserves it. I then want you to sit and really reflect on gratitude on a deeper level. So sitting and praying and really reflecting on who you want that message to go to. 
can be really really helpful so sitting and thinking um first of all who you're going to send that um gratitude energy to but then also how you're going to do it how you're going to feel about it so once again similar to the meditation really sitting into it and thinking about how you truly feel grateful in your life what they got here um there was another one i wanted to mention yes this was the last one so when you're reflecting on the prayers and connections i really want you to really sit in and give thanks to whoever you feel is appropriate so it could be the universe it could be god it could be the angels it could be your guardian angel it could be someone that you love that has since passed um it could be the earth whoever you feel you want to speak to just sitting and telling them how grateful you are for everything that you have in your life. I also want you to give thanks for everything that you will have in your life. Now this is super cool this one because you're focusing on the future and you're focusing on what you will have so it really enhances that gratitude because you're already making that commitment that this is something that you're going to have in your life and you're already thankful for having received it. So really powerful stuff and when you do that, when you're giving thanks for what you have and what you will have in your life, once again, closing your eyes and sitting, sitting into it and just visualizing what that would look like. So how would you feel if you were filled with gratitude? What would it look like if you were filled with gratitude in the future? So really reflecting on that, and I find it really helpful to close my eyes, even when I'm talking about it, really sinking into it and really recognizing what that looks like for you when you're thinking about your current gratitudes, but also your future gratitudes as well. So to recap, to really enhance gratitude in our lives is really, really important because it provides us with so many benefits, positive health, um, physical health, emotional health, mental health. We have um, built up resilience. We have positive connections. Um, so, so many positive things around um, enhancing gratitude in our day-to-day -day lives and ways to enhance that fully is following that rituals and habits so reflecting on three things that you're grateful for every day and journaling about them holding yourself accountable to ensure that you're remaining to do that consistently walking to the kettle um, and saying thank you out loud or in your head so you're already saying thank you so many times per day before your day has even started meditation being the second one so that is really reflecting on um, visualizing that gratitude ball coming into your body really really feeling how it feels and doing that body scan and then just really sin sinking into how you're feeling around that gratitude energy and then the third one is that prayer and connection so sending lots of positive um, gratitude energy to one person in your day that truly needs it and then being able to speak to whoever you feel you want to um, around how grateful you are for what you have and what you will have in your life and one thing I actually should have mentioned is when you're talking about um, how grateful you are, that it doesn't have to be um, someone who is up there. It can be your friend, it could be your child, your parent, your partner, it could be anyone that you feel is um, someone that will truly listen and truly understand and accept and appreciate the level of gratitude that you're starting to share with people. So please let me know how you get on with that. Within the worksheet, I've just done a quick reminder. So this one's more of a recap. So there's not much exercises to do for this specific worksheet. 
but it's to record your ritual and habits, your meditation and your prayers and connections to really take ownership around what you feel will work for your personal practice and to ensure that you can really enhance gratitude in your life every single day. But I am so excited to hear how you get on with this activity. It will honestly change so much stuff about your life. So I'm really excited to hear how you all get on. So yes, please let me know how you get on. I would love to connect further and hear um, about your kind of your changes that you're going to put in your life after this workshop. And as always, ladies, I am sending so much love and light. Take care. Bye.